and the final torque we have to produce or obtain is the damping, the friend damping torque. So what do you do generally when two of your friends are fighting, right? You just go and control them. Similarly, when these the two torque friends of control and deflecting torque are fighting, this friend is also feeling sad and it wants to control them. And so we got damping torque, it controls the vibrations of the moving system. So uh, based on level of damping, the behavior of system is classified into two, three times. Um, so let us see, this is the steady state value of the quantity, quantity to be measured. Time, uh, use that quantity, my axis. So in case there is no damping, okay, we, if we did not provide any damping, there is only control torque and deflecting torque. The response of the system is like this, sustained oscillations, no damping. Undamped instrument will have, the cat behavior is undamped oscillation. Suppose, uh, now I want to damp my instrument, I have provided a little damp, little damping. I say it under damping. What happens actually, um, when I have little damped my instrument, it will start, I uh, will draw in a new graph. So this is the case of a uh, undamped instrument, uh, this graph. So reducing oscillations. I have slightly applied a little bit of damping force or damping torque and my oscillations have slowly died out over a period of time. But this is not a good thing because maybe I want to measure instantaneously. I couldn't wait until this pointer settles down. Therefore, I will increase a little bit and I got a good response in the sense like this. Means very quickly the pointer came to its steady state or equilibrium point. And uh, I call this kind of damping critical damping. Critical or level damping. Whereas the first case was under damping condition. So what is the pointer uh, behavior under underdamped condition? Decreasing oscillations. And what is the pointer behavior under critical or level damped condition? Very quick response. The point acts very quick. It comes to steady state very fast. And the instrument which is high critical or level damping, it is said to be in a condition called as deadbeat condition. Deadbeat. So deadbeat is the condition of the instrument which is having critical or level damping. So I got over excited no, by seeing these results and I have increased the damping a little bit more. So what happened to me now? This is what we behave at the point. It is called over damping. So when you are over damping your system, the system is behaving very slow or lethargic. The system response is very slow. So the, by the time you want to you know, close your uh, uh, you have connected and you want to remove your meter and then it comes to steady state. Right? This is not uh, required. So based on level of damping, these are the different uh, responses of the measuring instruments. Now let us see what are the different techniques by which we can obtain damping power and which metal is good. And uh, uh, popularly we have <coughs> different techniques like air friction damping, We have fluid friction damping and we have got uh, eddy current damping. Eddy current damping. So, what is air friction damping? In air friction damping, we utilize the air friction, friction of air uh, in a closed chamber. To, uh, to provide damping power. Means we don't allow the pointer to move as easily as it wants. Uh, we provide a lot of inertia. So, okay, let us see a small uh, diagrammatic pictorial representation of this thing. Suppose it's the pointing system, moving system. And uh, along this side, I believe this is a closed air chamber, which is closed at one end and over at one end. And uh, there is a piston and an aluminum vein which connects the piston to the pointer 
and uh, this piston moves in this air chamber, in this closed air chamber. Whenever the uh, pointer tries to oscillate, the friction of air, the friction of air uh, friction, uh, inside the chamber, it does not allow the uh, pointer to oscillate as it wants. So in this manner, we are getting air friction damping. <coughs> Next technique is fluid friction damping. This is a very old technique of damping, whereas in which we use a fluid, a viscous fluid preferably, because a viscous fluid can offer more friction and it is nothing but a mineral oil, some oil, preferably we use some oil. So the moving system, let us see, this is the moving system, some spindle of the moving measuring instrument. It will have some blades, uh, some sort of blades. Okay. On the top here, if you see this is the spindle, and you have blades in this manner. Okay, and this whole set is dipped inside a oil container. So uh, this has the pointer attached it. So it will move in this manner. So whenever there is a deflection torque and contorting torque, due owing to the fluid friction, uh, it does not oscillate much. It cannot oscillate because it has to overcome the. Uh, the friction of the fluid and uh, it was used in old days and it is not uh, used and the main disadvantage is, uh, main disadvantage of using a fluid friction technique is that the fluid or the oil it suffers from leakage the meter is not clean it always suffers from leakages and it is not compact it bulky weight and you cannot trans uh, transport here and there and uh, it is like that and uh, the latest technique and most efficient one is eddy current damping. In eddy current damping, we are using eddy currents. How do we get eddy currents? What are eddy currents basically? Currents which unnecessarily come into existence and circulate are called eddy currents. So, what? How do we get eddy currents? Uh, suppose this is my uh, spindle of some meter, and I have an aluminium disc mounted to the disc. I will place some magnet. Okay, magnet. When the disc is under steady state condition, this does not move. But during oscillating, the disc will be moving to and fro, which will cut the magnetic field of this permanent magnet. And this, uh, this will introduce some eddy currents in the disc. These eddy currents will produce another current which opposes the cost producing it. What is the charge uh, cost producing it? The oscillations. And, uh, therefore, by utilizing the advantage of eddy current principles, we are able to produce enough damping torque. The main advantage of eddy current damping is that you will get damping proportional to the oscillations. Whereas the air friction and fluid friction damping are like conventional methods of damping, they are mechanical. In the sense, you don't know, you never know how much uh, damping is required, and you can never obtain critical obtain critical damping. You have to keep on varying the damping levels in air friction and fluid friction until you get critical damping. Whereas eddy current, it automatically adjusts for critical damping. In the sense, you never need to worry about under damping or over damping case because the damping is always critical automatically because of uh, because the current produced is proportional to the oscillation. But whereas the free, the uh, viscosity of the air, uh, viscosity of the fluid or the air friction uh, air friction of the chamber does not depend upon the oscillations, isn't it? Because it is a constant, it depends upon the nature of material use. But whereas, here, the eddy current, the magnitude of eddy currents depends upon the uh, oscillations of the uh, given disk. Therefore, it is the most effective. And in the order of effectiveness, the best eddy current, uh, the, be the best uh, damping torque is obviously eddy current, number one, and then comes air friction, and then comes fluid friction. And, Eddy current is used in permanent magnet moving coil uh, instruments, which is nothing but PMMC, we have discussed earlier. And air friction is usually applied for other like MI, moving iron type of instruments, etc. And uh, with this, we have completed the essentials or requirements of uh, uh, working of essentials required for the working of electrical measuring instruments. And then uh, in the next class, we will be dealing with the basic instruments different types of instruments
tactical measuring instruments and uh, their work principles, structure, analysis, organization, research on this one.